Okay, so this is, um, you know, after you look at those little machines, this one looks a lot bigger. <laughs> a lot bigger. I used to think this was a pretty small machine, <laughs> but they've come out with these little tiny things now. Um, this is the size of machine that we use in our kitchen. So it will hold, um, actually we use a, actually, so, I mean, if you pay attention to the size of the counter, you're not taking up that much more footprint than the smaller machine, really. Right. But you have a lot bigger machine and it's significantly more robust. Um, this machine comes with a set of plates in it. Um, and the mini packs have three or there, there are, I think there's four different plates in here. There's a skinny one and then three of these thicker ones in here. So you've got quite a bit more depth inside the chamber and you can go down, I mean, this is significantly deeper and you've got a dome in the lid this time. So yeah. now you've got some place where you can actually do a pretty good size roast. Right. Um, and your 12 inch wide bags, like the biggest bag that this machine will take is like a 12 by 14, which is this one here. So let's drop that package of rice in here. So you don't have to shove and cram it in there. And you could make that bag quite a bit larger right. while you're putting it in here. Mm -hmm. And because the chamber is big enough, now you can lay it in there quite easily. Okay. okay. And again, you always want to make sure it lays flat across the heat seal bar. And this time you've got a 12 inch wide heat seal bar, mm -hmm. which means you could do two small packages at one time. Right. Um, which would come in handy for the runs of smoked fish or mm -hmm. um, uh, beef jerky. There's, you know, an infinite variety of things you put in small packages that you could do multiples of at a time. Okay. So we'll close this. And then on this machine, the controls are a little bit different than they are on the other two timed cycles. Uh, the MVS31 actually runs on what is called a sensor cycle. So you're going to set the sensor for how much air you want to come out of the machine. And in this case, we're going to use 99.9% uh, .9 of the air. We're not going to run an extended vacuum this time. And these machines are not equipped with gas flush. Um, we also have the heat cycle running about 1.3. And I think for this particular kind of heat bar, we're going to run it up to about 2.3. So you can set these devices so that um, you have a programmed setting, and, uh, hence P1 in this case. And when you want to punch go, you hit the green button. And you can kind of hear how much bigger the pump is in these machines. So, and again, because your chamber is a little bit bigger, you're still running pretty much the same amount of time to get to the same place, but the chamber is bigger, pump's bigger. Yeah. And on these machines, you have, uh, because of the sensor kind of cycle here, you get a more consistent result because the sensor is going to tell the machine when to run the heat cycle as opposed to the um, a time cycle. Okay? okay. Now, the other thing I wanted you to notice there was that big inrush of air. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's the DVAC, or letting the air come back into the chamber. And okay. in this case, it happened pretty quickly. And the, this machine is, cut up, is set up with a um, cutoff oh, cool. bar. So it gives you a finished edge on your bag material, mm -hmm. which for um, like some people like that. And yeah. It's kind of a personal preference. So now you've got the same kind of rock hard block of storage that you had before. Um, you know, it's a better machine for doing bigger packages. Right. So for people that are hunting or fishing or um, you know, packaging up real juicy stuff that you don't want in little small packages. You want to be able to do a bigger packet, like you said, like a roast or, mm -hmm. you know, a whole shoulder or something. You want, this is the better option. A, Even though the smaller machine will do it, this size-wise is much better. Right. I mean, those little machines are not going to be able, I mean, we had a hard time getting this one in the, mm -hmm. the machine because of its depth. Yeah. And in here, it was like there's lots of room around this it. This is so. much better. Restaurant supply or mm -hmm. the big time fisherman, hunter. Yeah, those guys that need a little more power. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And once again, this machine comes with a different set of plates. So if you're not doing something bigger and round. So if you're not doing something big and round, now you can drop these plates in here, which elevates the floor a little bit. 
Okay. And the more plates you have in here, the smaller the package you're going to be able to fit in here, the less time it's going to take because these plates take up the space in there. And the point of the plate is so that you don't have something sitting and then the top lip of the bag is coming way up. Right. You need it to be fairly flat and flush. Exactly, okay. because you're trying to get the air to flow out of the bag, mm -hmm. and if it has to do a lot of gyrations to get there, it's not going to be as efficient. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So that's an MVS 31.